In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Apache Zeppelin, a great learning environment for Apache Spark. After this step, you're going to have uh, Zeppelin installed and you can play around with the built-in examples from Zeppelin. We're also going to go over one of the examples quickly in this video. But before we start, hi, if you're new here, my name is Andreas. I'm a data engineer and data science platform architect. And my passion is to help you build your reputation and your career with data science. On this channel, I'm going to do a lot of um, Q&A sessions, tips and tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and not miss any of the updates. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to install Docker. So you need to go to Docker and you need to go to uh, install Docker desktop that's available for uh, Mac and for Windows. On Windows, you need to be, I think on Windows 10 for Docker to be able to install. Uh, there should also be a install for Linux, but I don't know why this isn't shown here. I already installed it on the Mac. It's super simple. You just download it and then you drag the application into your application uh, folder and then it's 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 done. Then after this step, uh, you need to go to uh, zeppelin.apache.org and you need to download it. Just a quick overview with Zeppelin. What we have is uh, there are online notebooks, so you're going to work in your browser and you're you can the, the cool thing with Zeppelin is that it's a visual uh, a visual tool so you don't only create uh, your code you can also create graphics and this is super super cool for learning it so you can have visuals and you can play around with this with this stuff so you can set uh, different uh, types of graphics and so on you can even drag and drop um, drag and drop columns you can do uh, you can format stuff, you can do SQL queries on the stuff. So on your data, it's it's super simple, super great. I'm, I actually learned uh, Spark with Zeppelin. I taught it myself and that's, that's what I recommend to do. So you go to download and then it's super simple. You can either uh, download a binary, just a, a install and then run it from your command line or the even simpler step is you can go and download um, docker so you can use the um, the docker image so all you need to do is you have docker installed you have docker running let me just check if my docker is running yes docker is running and then you just take this this line here and put it into your command line. And so it cannot find the Docker server and then it's going to start, um, uh, I mean the Docker image and then it's going to start uh, pulling the Docker image. So this, as you can see, he says unable to find the, the image locally pulling from Apache Zeppelin. So, now it's going to uh, download it. So we just have to wait. I'm very excited about, about this tutorial and I'm curious about um, the new version of Zeppelin 0 0.8. I uh, learned it with an very, with an older, uh, um, with an older version, a very older version. Uh, back then Zeppelin was the uh, Apache incubator state. So yeah. It's, I think it's a lot of new stuff in there. Okay, so let's just wait for a second. Okay, so I think it downloaded everything. I'm not 100% sure I'm getting some errors here. Of course, nothing is as simple as you expect it to be. I'm just going to try it if it, if it already works. Ah, okay. Yeah. It already works. Let me just grab a Chrome. 
window here. Okay. So what you then do is you go to localhost 8080 and you're going to be online. Now, what you have here is you ha can have uh, a look at the uh, tutorials. There's a section for tutorials and just uh, get in there, get several into tutorial and uh, basic features spark, for instance. You could do um, matplotlib, python and pyspark, but let's just look at the standard thing here. Interpreter binding, you need to select interpreter binding, I think just, okay, and then just run all paragraphs, boom. This is one is using a file from AWS, tutorial file, strange that it's taking so long. Okay, now it's going. Strange. Maybe this is, has something to do with the OBS recording I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. So it's running the jobs. What you have here is you have a you made a SQL query, and now it's um, refreshing your graphs. Okay, so that's more or less it for the basic thing. Everything you do here is you um, import a file from AWS, a simple tutorial file, and then uh, you format it, and uh, then you can look at the data here. And so you can go here, you can change the formats, um, change the charts, can look at the data, can look at it in a table format, which is actually very helpful and yeah that's it now you can play around uh, you can play around with the other tutorials uh, like the one for um r you can do the matplotlib example you just in the first time you need to save the interpreters it's always always you can run all paragraphs on the top just run everything and then it's it's plotting everything. So as you can see here, then everything is getting created. Okay, so that's already uh, the first step. Now. You can play around with it, start playing around with the with the tutorials, with the examples. And in the next step, we are going to um, make a first example with uh, a MapReduce example, just a simple um, word count example. And this is going to show you how MapReduce works and where basically the origins of Spark are coming from. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you'd like to support me and uh, learn more about data engineering, on my Patreon, there's a uh, data engineering cookbook I'm currently writing. You can have uh, early access to that through my Patreon, Plumbers of Data Science, patreon.com slash plumbers of data science. And there's also a link um, to uh, get you a preview version of the, of the cookbook. It's a 14 um, page preview version. All right, so that's, that's it for today. Um, Play around with uh, with Stebelin and then yeah, then we meet here tomorrow. See ya. Mm -hmm.